Mom, she has fleas. She has fleas. So I'm really reacting here. David, can you spray around my table, please? And uh, up in that area. Just because our next client's in 30, 30 minutes. I'm going to loosen this a little tiny bit. Not too much, just that, that, just that's fine, and then over there, because I already did the Adams as well. I don't want to overdose myself. I don't know how many, but I do know there was a run, at least one where I saw just now running around. I wasn't going to grab it, try to capture it in the bathroom. Dog up stand here, so we'll come back around. So now just imagine this you know, you want to contain your environment. To tin down. I'm trying to do a, a less scooping in this video. I know there's all different kinds of watchers, so. right into the trash. She has a long tail for a couple spaniels. Maybe a mix. I don't think I should have shaved on her whole tail, but it's too late now. We do a tin down all over and she just said leave the um, Here's something. So there were no tips on the tail, so I'm just do what I did last time, I suppose. If you guys don't have that flea stuff, let me know. You should, if you have a salon, you definitely need some uh, flea sprayer. Not just the atoms, but like a commercial grade, you know. Thanks, Cindy. Appreciate you. She did great today. She'll be on video on my YouTube channel in about a few days. So, Watching, see, I'm going pretty light down here uh, just so I can see what's going on. But some nipples are down there, be careful. Keep her close. Bye, Holly. See you later. Clean in 
It was on time. Put that the wrong way. Come back at that angle in a minute. strongness of uh, Adams is very strong you guys doesn't you don't need very much to spray around your table and stuff with Adams but the other stuff that's for commercial grade is uh, just real scentless it's not you can't see you wouldn't be able to smell it it is it would be in your environment but it's not like something you can smell and it works great man So we kind of combat it two ways. Anywhere she do that in the salon up front. And uh, <clears throat> try to contain, you know, spray there. So other dogs walking in don't have a problem. Just a tiny bit. Make sure you know if it's pulling, it's not something you don't want to be shaving off. guys for the face here. Turn this down just a tad. I don't need her to be on she's loving that dog upstairs actually but she doesn't need to be on it for now. Ten. Really fluffy ears. Fade that nice and easy there. Just come all the way back on the neckline. Mm 
I'm going to loop her in now. I'll come over here. So copper, I'll do the ears separate. I'm just turn her this way and see if I can just keep it this way. See how hairy the copper spaniel ears are? So I'm going to clean all that out here in a minute. So copper spaniel face, we're just going to come this, come, I'm going to come down first. And we may come back and do seven reverse. Yeah, so pretty, yeah. I'm gonna try to save a couple whiskers here. It's not a big deal. If I shave them, she wouldn't even know. But I feel like uh, with sake, you know, once you take a take them down, they become little needles. So if you can, you can, you can't, you can't, you know what I mean? And some parents are like, take those off. Come here, right behind the back of the ear. I'm going to change my blade and do the ears a lot. Okay, so let's do this ear like this. I think you guys will be able to see it better. A lot of ear hair. Cogger Spaniel ears are always, I think they've been inbred so much that they have uh, ear problems, a lot of ear problems, so heat in the ear will just be like a yeast infection. Women, you guys get it when I talk about that. So if you shave all this out when you're grooming a Cocker Spaniel, it'll give that ear at least some more, less heat, creating less heat. She wants fluffy ears, so we're going to tidy that up just like that. Be over here. Now that she's down off the hot dog upstairs, I can actually come through, finish off her tummy here. So. I'm not digging too hard, that way I don't uh, nick or take off any nipples. Every dog's nipples are different, you'll learn that too. Scoop back up here. Have that knee bent like that, I'm very aware of how I'm bending her knee. Have you ever seen a dog lay spread out? They're very well incapable of doing some stretching out. Okay, and we're gonna go up one more time. I'm gonna really, oh, we had an issue with that last time from private area. Pretty sure I have that on video. Move the tail. Come in and really clean this urinary area. All the way down the leg here. I'm going to come do this area first. Still using my tag. Bring that up and out. Okay, she has some belly fat here, so I'm gonna come in and uh, my shoulder needs a break. Okay, so this is the client who came in early off of the battery. That's how fast the grooms are going. I'm gonna come in on her tummy here, she doesn't want to kind of go upward there. Okay, and then. Whew. 
want your clippers here. Just want to check this area in here. So you want to clean all that out. Gently. See how crusty it is? Someone's got to do it, you guys. Definitely need to wash my hands. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go. I need, do need to wash my hands. Okay, um. Nails are pretty curled under, so in order to get the pads really good, I'm going to do our nail trim first and come back and do the pads. I'll be able to get more hair off of the pads, getting the nails out of my way. Can you guys see that? We do a short haircut. She comes every about four months, but I'm going to recommend. I'll tell her in a minute. She's out there in the lobby. I'll let her know to come in. She needs to come in halfway for the nails, man. It's really tough on the baby, so. so it doesn't shoot up in my eye. And you want to make sure those mats are out of there. It's easy to overlook. Sometimes there's sensitive skin in there, and if it starts to kind of give you any blood at all, then uh, just go lighter. But if there's mats, you have to get them out. And this is just pushing on my wrists over time. That would hurt, so bring that back, push that out. Without the dog up stand, I would be using both of my hands to help her stand up and do this at the same time. So it's really helping me right now.
really clean, isn't it? Compared to what it was looking like. Whoa, 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 whoa. Beautiful. <laughs> like, look at this one. Should do it before and after. Man, it's hard on the wrist. That cord doesn't let me twist my twist it like I normally would though. It's correcting me, so that's kind of cool. But it, it does make it a little heavier. Thank goodness for some lightweight clippers. I love these things. so good it was so much to take off all right we're going to the bath all right we're coming to the close of this we did a uh, we didn't do the bath together because we did a a 10 minute sit and wait with the flea shampoo which is Adam's flea shampoo I sell it it's that sucker is not cheap man I think your 12 ounces are like 20 bucks so I mean they're not cheap right so if you need that, let me know. But we did flea shampoo. Uh, David, did you get the flea off of her? I like to have proof, man. So if I, but here because I have another client walking in pretty quickly, I didn't want to pick it off and then lose it, uh, like on in the floor. So I just let it. It'll actually keep running around the dog on the body. So we'll see if I. I'm gonna check the drain later. Anyways, let's get to get to it. So, like I said, she has a ear infection. Most of the time, cocker spaniels will have this for life. So, get yourself a good solution. We use and sell this stuff here, Malacetic Otic. It's amazing. If you want some, buy it on our store. You use a cleaner to clean the ears, and then you flush this. So, I'm gonna do our complimentary flushing today because her bill was pretty hefty because of the flea charges. So. I feel for her. Um, and then I gave her a special on the Frontline pack if she bought three. So try to work with your clients. Um, we're going to shape her up with the 10 and then almost be, she's one of the sweetest dogs I've ever met, man, seriously. This is Alexi. Right? Right? Hi. Hi, yes. I just want to just kiss you. I just want to kiss you. Okay. All right, Didi, stop messing around, man. Mom's out there listening to me. She probably thinks I'm an idiot. <laughs> All right, here we go. Dang, ten blades. Oh man. Just gonna clean everything up. We did ten. Short haircut all over because I'm not gonna see her for about four months. Every client's different. Their needs are different. Their budget's different. So just work with your clients. There's uh, everyone has different needs and. You just want to be able to provide, okay? All those fine hairs now. Uh, if 
you do all your strokes right, and then there's very little that you have to clean up on the rough out. Wrinkles on the body will cause like crevices, you know, crevices and stuff. You can't fix that, you know what I mean? This is what it is. And it's like, do so you see what's happening here? It's fine, but it's not letting me move that, flip it over this one. I went ahead and just stayed with my 10 down. It's too hard to save these whiskers. It's not worth accidentally um, getting her cheek or, you know, it's not worth it. Just do your, do the work, get the work done. Don't try to nitpick. I'd rather you be safe than sorry. Sometimes you have to come this way though, here. And you stretch that lip out. this stretch that lip <laughs> come out like that I don't know if you guys can see that or not like our puffy ears come to the side of the body now this bar is makes it so hard for you guys to see if, if it's not like David holding the camera clippers are good on temperature that's great the reason why we ended up having a little bit of this time to do these videos today on this Saturday, which is like February 3rd now, is because that one client with the dead battery. So when she comes in, though, it's going to be a wild minute, I think, because uh, she might come in during a private, and then David has to might have to step up. I'm about to turn her feet so I need to see what I, how, what I got to work with here.
sit down. For me, this is the hardest foot because I'm not left-handed to get the right angle, you know? It's the hardest one. Done this earlier, then I would not keep pushing her up. Okay. I, love, I love it, I love that stand. See, minutes in a groom, minutes make a difference. Because mom, I mean, she's sitting out there. As soon as I can get done, she can go home, you know what I mean? Bad spot for that zoom for me. That's twice now it's falling down. We moved that uh, white organizer, trying to put everything on the board, and I just need some more pegboard. We're gonna get them today, hopefully. Need some more pegboard baskets. Brush out your ears first. Don't slice your own fingers. Sometimes they're in the way too. I hold your leather, but there's a lot of space here. So, just, I'm not trying to trim her ears, you know. I'm not trying to take off much. Your ears absolutely last. I'm gonna get some pictures in. <laughs> you did so good. You did so good. Yes, you did. You did so good. Okay, let's go over here and get a picture and then we'll do the ear flushing. Thank you, dog up sand. Almost done, Mom. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching Dee Decoy with my favorite groomer on YouTube. And Lexi's about to go home. Mom's right out there, so I'm gonna leash her up, and then we'll go together and give her to mom. Okay, I gotta get her leash first. Oh, are you ready to go? You ready to go? Come on. Oh, we got to flush your ears, man. What am I thinking? Flush 
your ears here real fast. Come here, let me see. I got the ear flushing down. Let's go. Come on, don't walk in front of me. Come on. Come on, let's go. Hey. Is that mama's? Is that mama's? Hey, are you happy? Are you happy? Yeah? <laughs> Thanks a lot, Christina. Say bye. Oh, bye. <laughs>